Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Walk With Me. Uh, this week's episode we are going to be talking about how to de-stress, best way to stay on track during tough times in your life, and the 80-20 principle. Let's get into it. So how's everybody been doing this week? Uh, my week has gone really well. It's been a perfect, mild few days here in Portland. Yeah, things have been pretty quiet this past week. We're about to get ready. We're leaving for that trip to San Francisco in a couple of days, the one that I mentioned last week. So that'll be happening soon. But uh, but other than that, not much has been going on. It's uh, Things have been so chaotic for so, so long for me. It's been nice to have a little bit of a breather. Um, so I'm trying, I'm purposely trying not to take on a lot of extra projects, uh, trying to give myself a little bit of a break for a few weeks. Because never in my life would I have thought things could be so chaotic and stressful and crazy, but so good at the same time. You know, when you think of stress, you usually think of it as a negative, but, uh, but things have been really stressful in my life, but they have also been really great. You know, I love, uh, I love being busy. I love working on this business. I love going out and about doing things and traveling. It, uh, but it is stressful, even, even if it's a good stress. I'm trying to schedule in a little bit of that time to kind of decompress and relax, spend a little bit of time on the couch with the wife and, uh, and try and enjoy some of this weather. Take a little bit of that workload off. I can get a little obsessive at times with anything. When I work on something or when I do something, I'm always all in. I, I'm the type of person I'm either gonna give every ounce of effort I can or I'm not gonna do it. So that can take a toll over time. So having this little bit of deload for a couple of weeks, I think it's gonna be really beneficial. Uh, excited, yeah, I had that trip to Bend and we have the trip to San Francisco and I, I wanted to dedicate that time in between to just kind of focus on my day job and, uh, and having some fun and doing some relaxing. But this brings up a topic I wanted to talk about and that is you know, how to stay on track with your weight loss when, uh, when times get stressful in your life. You know, what to do if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling like I can't, you don't have the willpower, you don't have the time, you don't have the energy, how do you stay on track? Um, for me personally, I am a big fan of the 80-20 principle. So the 80-20 principle pretty much states that 20% of the work is going to get you 80% of the results. And on the flip side of that, 80% of the work is going to get you that final 20% of the results. And this is something I apply to a lot of different things in my life related to health and weight loss, everything. I, I always, I love, I love the 80-20 principle. So what I like to do if, if things are feeling like just too much to handle, um, step back a few notches, focus on those core basic things that you need to stay on track. Because I guarantee, you know, something like prepping your food is gonna have a way bigger impact than that sixth day in the gym. Or something like going out to a restaurant, even though it might not be the healthiest choice, if, uh, if you can fit it into your day versus going home and just eating random snacks or junk food because you don't have the time to cook, going to that restaurant becomes the most ideal option in that situation. Or skipping that gym day to make sure you have your food prepped. It's gonna be the better option. So kind of evaluate your situation, evaluate your life, figure out what those key essential points are that are gonna have the biggest impact for you to continue your progress or even further your progress and go all in on those. Don't stress as much about those final little things. It's a long game, you wanna go for adherence. Yeah, so that's what I like to do in, uh, in those situations. If I'm feeling overwhelmed with, uh, with adhering to the diet, you know, you're on month eight, you've had enough, um, just go back and focus on those basics. Focus on what's gonna have the biggest impact to have you stay on track, to keep going and working towards it with the least effort possible. Just take a little bit of a break, take a little bit of a breather. And again, just like when you start, as you feel comfortable, you wanna add in more and more. For all of us, we have to learn how to balance all of this stuff for the rest of our life. It might not be as conscious or as prominent in our minds, but we all got ourselves in this situation because we didn't have control. So the more we learn, the easier that control gets, but we're always gonna to have to keep that control of our situations. So if you're feeling like every day is a struggle, don't, uh, don't feel bad if you want to step back for a few weeks, 
focus on those basics and focus on kind of resetting your mind, going back into it more motivated than ever. I hope everyone's week's been going well. If, uh, if you haven't had the chance, make sure to go back, watch last Friday's video. Dana and I have been working on that collaboration for probably a couple of months now. He's a great guy, he has some awesome info, and a lot of his content is relevant to you guys. It translates well, so make sure uh, go check him out. Watch my video on his channel too, that'd be awesome. But, uh, but make sure to give the video a like if you enjoy it. It really does help me out a ton. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday. And leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite way to relax? Um, love to hear that, get a discussion going. But until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.